Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. I was going through a bunch of old videos and I asked on the Facebook page if people were ready for Halloween and it was an overwhelming yes. So I'm super excited. I went through all of my Halloween videos and picked out my six favorite. So I'm going to start popping up over here on the left so you get a preview of what all is going to be included in this video. And as always in these mashups, over an hour worth of content, smushing it down to about 10 minutes for you guys so you can get inspired. And a lot of these are just as simple as seeing them in kind of this fast kind of clip style motion. But if any of them you need a little bit more details um, about them, the links to the full length tutorials will be listed in the description below. And you can also skip ahead using the reel below if you wanna jump ahead to a specific one of these fantastic rocks here on the side. So I just wanna give a quick little shout out to all of our rock stars over on Patreon. Uh, thank you so much for your support and let's hop into our first video. So the first tutorial we have is this cute ghost family. Now, of course, you can customize this to whatever your family looks like. My family is actually larger than this, but we, uh, we're taking our little girl trick-or-treating, so I thought we'd just do a couple with a little one. Um, you can have your ghosts holding, I guess you could say, you know, bottoms, sheets, I don't know, they're not really hands, uh, when you outline your design. And you can also customize the little pieces that you add to your um, ghosts. So I did a little headband on the little girl, bow tie on dad, a little hair bow on mom, just to kind of give them each their own little personality. Um, giving some little eyelashes really brings out the feminine side of mama there too. So um, I've just got a little micron pen that I'm using for these fine lines and details. But simple as that, really cute, easy to customize. Uh, the second one here is one of my trick-or-treating candy rocks. We did a whole series of these a couple years ago, actually, where we're taking just different candies and getting them ready to trick or treat. So just start by creating your candy on your rock. This one I'm doing is a sucker, and I actually like this pink sucker a lot more than the blue one. Um, it just pops a little bit more on the rock. We give them a little hand and the little trick or treat basket. Nice long legs on this one because I have a nice long rock. Um, and then you can decorate their baskets, really cute too. You can do ghosts, pumpkins, uh, mummies, Frankenstein, a uh, couple little details to add to the sucker. Get the wide set eyes, cute little smile come in. And then a little highlight. And don't forget to decorate your bag too. But I'll show here at the end, we've got a couple other candies we did as well. Um, we have chocolate or bubble gum, so they're really fun. Those actually inspired last year's group of rocks that I did. I loved the candy cane trick-or-treater so much that I decided to go back and dress him up in a lot of classic Halloween costumes. Now, the one I'm showing off in this video here is the scary clown because it came out or the new it had come out. So we were working with that. But basically you just lay out your candy corn with the three layers and then you can color your layers whichever way you want. So for the clown, we went ahead and did white for the body and the top of his head, um, brown for the clothes. The it clown has a very classic red balloon. So we'll also be doing the red hair. And then we do our face with the red paint as well. And as you can see, I was working on the vampire in the upper right hand corner at the same time. Going around with your lining, you can clean up your edges really nice. Gives them a nice clean look. So here we are going back to add our face. And Pennywise had these nice stripes under his eyes. So that's the look I'm going for with this design, but you could do any clown design you want. Add in the dots. And here's some other examples, and I'll leave links to these as well below. But these are really fun to do. The kids thought they were great last year. The adults did too. Uh, now we've just got a pumpkin. I think I shared this one in the fall video as well, but we're just laying out a basic pumpkin shape. Now you can do tall, short, fat, and stumpy pumpkins as long as you start 
with kind of a football shape in the middle and then you pull the ribs out into the side um, from that section and they'll kind of bump a little bit up and out and then they come to have kind of mostly a flat bottom. Um, add on your stem in the center. Now for these, I'm doing like a weathered style pumpkin, but you could easily fill this in a solid orange. Um, you could do a full pumpkin in a light orange and use a dark orange for your stripes to give it the ribs as well. But I really like these fun weathered pumpkins and they're pretty trendy. Uh, you can do them in any color, so you can use them for home decor as well. This one I'm doing yellow and green, but as you can see in the upper left-hand corner, I've got like a purple and blue, and then I believe I did a purple and red one that you'll see at the end as well. So just go with very wispy strokes so that you get that weathered look. We're gonna go back and add on our vines, these cute little curling vines, which really give it a fun look. And then when you go back over the lining, of the ribs of your pumpkin, that's when you can kind of pull the stem towards those ribs and you'll get more of that connection spot where the stem connects to your pumpkin. So I just kind of flow from the stem up and around each one of the lines and that will really help give you a clean pumpkin look. And of course, if you're going right over regular paint, if it you have any getting on the tip of your paint pens just doodle off on a piece of paper that's what I'm doing up above here but there's some different colors and you can try as many colors as you want our mummy rocks these are an absolute favorite on the site the video is a little bit pixelated it was originally I think a Facebook live it's been on the page for a very long time but I love 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 these mummies so I do go through and kind of sketch out the bandage lines and it, it may seem redundant because as you'll see as we build them up the whole rock is almost covered in white by the time we're all said and done but I like to have the line strokes going the way the bandages are going to go. Now you can pick your secondary color. I'm using yellow in this video I'm just kind of lightly striping in the same direction that I was doing those bandages and doodling off the tip every once in a while so it doesn't get overly yellow um, and you'll see at the end you can do this with lots of different colors it's a really fun way to you know give them a lot of different personalities I guess you can say clean off your tip and then I went back with my white again in a very streaky motion so that you get these kind of stripes of mixes of the yellow and the white doodle off your tip until your pen is back to white again and then we're filling in the hole completely. Now, when you come in and do your lining, this is when you really define those bandages. So I start with the area around the eyes so that I can make sure that I've got a good, um, you know, grouping of bandages around the eye so that it cuts and overlaps and is visually um, pleasing to the eye. Uh, again, you might have to doodle off the tip of your pen if you're slightly impatient like I am and I tend to get to my rock sometimes before it's completely dry so just these little sketchy lines very light and wispy to create all these bandages around your stone and you want the white in the center completely dry before you move on to this next step of creating the eyes now I color in the whole thing white first just because it's easier um, than going in and trying to do just this the whites of the eye so once you get your eye shape, you just fill in the rest of that bandage space with black. And they're so fun. I've seen these in so many rock painting groups. A lot of people enjoy making these, but see here's some other color um, designs. Uh, the last one we're sharing is our haunted house rock. And these are really fun because there's no rules to haunted houses. Your shapes can be wonky. Your roofs can have strange pitch lines. So the first thing we do is just lay out some basic shapes on our rock, some peaks to the roof, and a ground that we're aiming for. And just build your houses down all the way to the ground using just basic triangles and squares. And you'll see as we fill in that you can make things make more, a little more sense. So when you start adding designs together, you can create these walls and planes to um, make your haunted house. So. Once you have your basic shapes, go around and start adding windows. Now the windows will be the negative space where your color will shine through. So opt on the side of leaving them larger 
than anything else. So you have a lot of that bright color coming through. You can always make them smaller. Uh, you can't go back and make them bigger. Um, so then we just kind of fill in all around our windows to get this nice dark silhouette of our, you know, haunted house. And once you've got that done, you can really start playing around with the shape. So if the roof seemed like it needed to be a little bit bigger or carry on to the side, you can add that at that point. You can add little gravestones, spider webs, really let your imagination go. I've even add like, you know, a really wonky chimney. And I believe I even play around with the roof pitch. Yeah, I give it a little curl there on the side. Once you're done, fill in your ground and give yourself a nice crisp dark outline if you're working on a funny shaped rock, just so when you look straight ahead, it's visually pleasing. But these are really fun to do. And you'll see a few different designs here at the end. Well, I hope you enjoyed these uh, six different Halloween inspired rocks. Uh, we will have more inspiration heading your way this season. Um, I do want to remind you, if you haven't yet, to subscribe. And if you want to head over and become a rock star over on Patreon, you'll get to view all of these videos ad-free um, and get early access. So we'll see you all soon with more rock painting inspiration. Bye-bye.